The word of the day, a University Ridge for the second round of the American Family Insurance Championship would be sweltering. It felt like a sauna on the course as players attempted to go low again today. Over 20 people filled up the course. Wes Short Jr. was 8 under on the day. Just came up short of being 9 under. This birdie putt on 18, oh, that's unfortunate. But he did tie for a low round of the day. A lot of players did go low, especially on the par 5 11th. Mike Goodis off the green for Eagle. Green's a little bit slower today. He would birdie. He's 11 under for the tournament. Bart Bryant in the third to last group. He cards a 6 under 66. This birdie on 11. He birdied 18 as well to get to 12 under. One back of the lead. Most golfers reached the 11th and 2 today. Kevin Sutherland chipping just off the fringe for Eagle. That short. He made the birdie. He was 3 under on the day. 10 under overall. Gene Sowers, the co-leader heading into the day. One of the few leaders who failed to birdie that 11th hole. A 369 puts him at 12 under. Tied with Bryant one shot back. Everyone chasing Jean-Francois Remesi. He had two eagles on his round, including rolling in this putt on 11. He shot an 8 under to get to 13 under a one shot lead. So the Frenchman has a one shot lead, like I said, after that 64. Bart Bryant and Gene Sowers lurking. A shot back at 12 under. Mike Goodis in solo fourth at 11 under, while a trio at 10 under and a group of four, another shot back at nine under. Mike Jock says more on the second round at U Ridge. The crowds were out. The temperatures were certainly high at University Ridge, but the golfers were going low once again. John Francois Remesi is your leader. He's been in this situation before on the European tour, so he's not worried at all. I play really good today, and uh, so I'm pretty happy to be in contention. and. Uh, I'm waiting that uh, since a long time. Yeah, I think within one or two of the lead, it looks like for sure. So uh, you can't ask for more than that. Anytime you, you know, you have an opportunity to go out and play a shoot all around in the last day and have a chance to pull out a victory, that's, you know, can't ask for any more than that. You know, the greens seem to be a little bit slower today. Uh, I could never get them to the dang gum hole, but, uh, you know, still, it's a great golf course. I had a good time playing with two good guys, and uh, I'm still right there. So uh, I'm okay. You know, I, I put a lot of pressure on probably all parts of my game today, driving it and all my iron shots, like I said, I wasn't making the putt. This guy had a lot of good birdie putts, and I kind of got on a good run. Coming off uh, on 10, 11, 12, made three straight birdies, and and uh, it was just, I just hit the ball really nice and solid today. Uh, could have made a couple other birdies, and but, uh, you know, it was a good solid round. For the most part, you're going to have to be that 15 or 16 under to, you know, have a chance to win this week, so, uh, you know, 10 under is good. It's not where you I, I need to keep making more birdies, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Now check this out. Because of the weather, tee times have been pushed back to 930. They'll be going off both tees here at University Ridge. The leaders will go off at 1140 on tee number one. Should be another exciting day here at the American Family Insurance Championship. Reporting in Madison, I'm Mike Jocks, NBC 15 Sports. Thank you, Jocko. There was a large gathering following the leaders this afternoon, but that paled in comparison to the fans lining the fairways for the celebrity force and that Lucas Mayer had the pleasure to follow. Thanks, Ryan, and I had a lot of fun today, no doubt about that. You and Jocko were out on the links having to cover the actual event. Well, I got to go to the celebrity scramble. We're talking Brett Favre and Steve Stricker versus Mark Towser and Andy North. What a day. It was getting competitive in a fun way, it, whatever that means. Um, but it was a lot of fun and um, Hopefully next year we can do 18 holes. I just hope it's a little cooler. <laughs> we knew having uh, Brett and Andy and, and Tauscher here this afternoon would add just another element of excitement and entertainment value for the people here that are coming out and, and supporting the event. We expect this to be really a really su successful event just because of Brett and Tausch being here. That's that's huge. And it, there have been a f couple other tournaments have been able to do this and really, you know, growing their event because of it. Uh, you get a lot of people out here that maybe they don't know some of the 50-year-old guys, but they might know some of the older guys, or they obviously know Brett. Just an amazing crowd. I'm not surprised a bit. Uh, just a, uh, this will be the most successful stop uh, for the senior tour, I can promise you that. We are all very excited to see who the first winner of the American Family Insurance Championship will be tomorrow, but I have a feeling when we look back on this event, it's going to be the celebrity scramble that is the highlight. At University Ridge, Lucas Mayer, NBC 15 Sports. Thank you, Lucas. The doer of the duo. The duo. Let's use the word correctly, Ryan. The duo of Tauscher and North pulled the upset as the self-dubbed Washington Generals 
One by a stroke over Stricker and Favre.